Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and author of many books on drawing cartoons and manga and all sorts of fun stuff. And I, I love to give uh, lessons on character design. My favorite thing to do is, is uh, design characters. So today I want to show you how we can design a character by shifting the planes and the curved parts of the head. We're going to start with a very cute squirrel. He's going to be in a side view. I'm going to start with a big head. Proportions are equally important as to curves and the flat areas, etc. So we'll start with a big head. Kind of an oval or a circle. It can be very sloppy. I always sketch first and then we finish up uh, with a marker. Start nice and simply. And it's kind of teardrop shape. Almost like a pear for the body. It's going to be cute, small, and young. A little, little tyke of a, of a uh, squirrel. So here's a snout right here, coming down. Can you see that? Just the basic bones of the squirrel right here. He's got a big bottom and little feet. Like this. Here's a tummy right, right here. Goes right into the, the, the near foot, near leg, sorry, the near leg. Here's the bottom, kind of comes off like a shelf there. Go to put this little pudgy little arm. This really, it's mainly just shoulder and a hand. And bring some fingers down here. Again, I'm going to go over this uh, after I sketch it out, and we'll go over it with a you know, black marker and clean it up, make it look all all finished. Bring this back here like this. Okay. Okay, now let's get started on this. First, what we're going to want to do is you know, bring some of this forehead down. So we're, at, we're invading the actual area, our basic instructions. No longer, no longer an oval or a circle right now. We're going to bring this down here. And I'm going to just take that away, just like that. I'm going to put a nice big button nose at the end here, like that. And I'll bring this up into the cheek. That'll be a nice smile right there. We'll bring an eye close here, down low on the face, right over the cheek area. I like to make sure it's every it's where I want it before I go and decide to put ink on it and do it over again. So once you do that, you're done. So you really want to think in advance, make sure it's how you'd like it to be. How about a nice big tooth right here, a little buck tooth? Actually, I'm going to bring this up so he is has a big lower lip, like that. And I'm going to bring the tummy forward. I think he's a little far back, so I'm going to bring that tummy forward. And now I'm going to add just a little more area here. Still, still it's not that oval, but add a little more, make some adjustments as I go along. Bring this forward. The eyebrow, and I'm going to bring this down here, and I'm going to flatten it out right here. Here up here. We're gonna bring the cheek down this way. And I might actually uh, should I bring that back in a little bit, a little bit. He seems like he's a little far out over his stomach. So maybe I'll just bring this back in a little bit here. Like that, and now we can start in on 
the uh, ink. And that's a lot of little changes, but that's what drawing is about. Trying this, trying that, see where it gets you. If you like it, keep it, build on it. If not, start again. Here's that squirrel tail. Okay, there we go. Cute little eye there. Now, eyebrow curve, but not too far from the eye. Slope this down at a diagonal. Kind of wind it, slide it right into the nose, which doesn't go too far. The snap doesn't go too far. The nose is kind of a button. Like that, a little shine. And the top of the mouth starts in the middle of the nose, not at the end. So the nose will actually stick out past that. That's actually anatomically correct on uh, mammals. The nose usually sticks out a little further than the snout. You can notice that in your dog, just slightly past the snout. And give him a little lower lip, just a little lower lip. Bring that tummy out here, and that leg, that fat little limb. Shoulder heavy arm, so it's a cute arm. Just little black fingers. Flat on top, it's another flat area. Goes around, and here we'll bring that cheek and round that off, and then flat down here too. Bring that in front. Okay, I'll just erase up a few of these extra lines here that we made. So you see how all that pencil stuff, that the roughs, etc., the guidelines, when we take it out, you see it all came in handy. Even though we changed things here and there, it doesn't matter. The final drawing is what matters. You could put this over another drawing on your light box and change again if you like with this some ideas on how to draw a cute squirrel character thank you for joining me and i have new videos every monday i hope you subscribe and i will see you soon thanks again bye bye